I am Tim Player from Mrs. Merkulief's sixth period class, and this project is on The Balance of Power by James Huston. Peacefully moored in an Indonesian port, an American merchant ship is boarded and hijacked, its captain and crew taken hostage. But this is no ordinary ship. It is the newest, fastest cargo ship in the world, full of Ford cars to deliver to the Indonesian capital. It is an olive branch from our country to theirs, the result of a trading initiative the president himself passed. With this in mind, a battle group of the U.S. Navy is dispatched to the area, with the goal of apprehending the pirates and freeing the civilians. Then, the situation starts to escalate. Flash to Washington, D.C. The president wants to avoid conflict at all cost. The speaker for the House, however, strongly disagrees with this course of action. When a young secretary uncovers a legal loophole that would allow Congress to take control of the Navy battle group, the speaker uses it. This sparks a constitutional crisis like never before, and threatens to divide the nation. Sadly, disclosing much more would spoil the book for you, but suffice it to say that what happens next is pretty darn cool. The book did a magnificent job of showing the sheer spectacle and force behind international conflicts. I enjoyed seeing both sides of the conflict, the administrative and the practical sides. It was interesting to see how easily they could influence each other, how one man dying on the ground could set the whole operation behind, or a member of Congress could easily change or delay it. My thoughts on the book? James Huston provides fast-paced action and astute descriptions, bringing this novel to a satisfying conclusion. I was left with a greater understanding of the workings of our government, and a vivid impression of our military's power. The author was very talented at telling an intriguing story, and I would gladly read another book of his. Thank you.